Hello, hello, queens. I'm Kenny Shore, Currency Queen Budgets. I am a single mother budgeting my way out of debt. In this video, I will be breaking down my paycheck for February the 24th, 2023. If that is something that you are interested in seeing, I suggest that you stay tuned. Alright guys, so we are going to be working down my paycheck for February 2023. I don't know why I want to say 2022, but yeah. Alright, so we are, we are going to be using my budget by paycheck. Um, the 2023 book, this book can be found on my website. The link is in the description. Um, below this is not on Etsy. This is only on my website and we also have the digital version if you are a digital person. Alright, so I will be using my Pilot G2.7 and I will be using the blue. And I'm going to get everything filled in and I will be right back. All right, so we have everything filled in and we are going to get started here so this is going to be for the month of february the paycheck date is 02 24 23 and we are going to just only use my work income and I'm gonna do 1,205 of my work income. All right, so let's get to breaking this down. And I'm going to explain this if this is your first time visiting, you've never did a budget. So what I did was took all of my bills, I wrote them here in this section. Um. The cash envelopes is what I spend every day. So this is basically what I need until my next paycheck. So this is what I will spend on a weekly basis or every two weeks, however you get paid or however you decide to cash stuff. And this is also called your variable expenses. Now you have sinking funds, which I'm not stuffing sinking funds because I'm just focusing on just saving money. Then once I get that money saved up, I will allocate it to different um, envelopes in my sinking fund. So sinking funds is whatever you need to save up for. Just say you need to go on vacation maybe in December. The first thing you would do, you will figure out how much you need for that vacation. And then every time you get paid or every time you cash stuff, you will put aside a certain amount to go towards that fund. And if you wanna do like car maintenance, that is one that I also do. So I would just put a certain amount in my car maintenance envelope to make sure if anything happens with my vehicles or even an oil change, I will have that money already sitting there. So that is basically what sinking funds is. Some people have a lot of sinking funds. Some people just have three. Some people don't do sinking funds. But sinking funds is just a good way to just have money already sitting there for a certain thing now your extra savings here i just put that down there just in case you wanted to do something else maybe like um, pay off some extra debt or save some extra money like for your savings challenges you can jot that down here if you want to but um basically that is all it is in breaking down your paycheck so i'm just going to 
go ahead and go through and fill in my budget for this paycheck uh, and that's how I will break everything down so we are starting with one thousand two hundred and five dollars so each category will get some money each category will always get something even if it's not much for this paycheck it will still get something and then the next paycheck we will cover it um, some more but this is basically how you get started you don't have to have these fancy books. You can just start with a piece of paper. When I first started, I did have a sheet of paper, and then I decided that I wanted to be a little bit more organized. Well, I had a um, sheet of paper, and then I went to a tablet. You can use a tablet. Just write everything down in your tablet. Let's get into this, breaking this down. So for my credit cards, I'm just going to do $10. And for my tides, I'm going to do 60. For my car notes, let's do 50. For insurance, let's do 10. For my cell phone, I am going to also do 10. For utilities, I'm going to do 20. For my rent, I'm going to do $780. For my subscriptions, I'm not going to do anything. And then for student loans, it's not going to get anything. So I'm going to grab my calculator and then we're going to add this up. So I have a total of $940 that I am using towards bills. So now I will take that $1,205 that we started with, subtract that $940, and that's going to leave me with $265. So going into my variable expenses, is $265. Now, since I'm only stuffing my bills and my uh, variable expenses, this whole $265 will be broken down into this category here because I am a zero-based cash budgeter, which means I zero everything out. Once I finish budgeting, I have nothing left. So for my groceries, I'm going to do $115. For my gas, I do, I've been doing 75, but I'm going to do 80. For my household, I have 20. For spending, I normally do 10. For beauty, I'm going to do 30. For eating out, I'm not going to do anything for eating out. Uh, for medication, I'm going to do $5. So, let's get that added up. I have 115 plus 80, 20, 10, 30, and 5. Oh, did I lose, miss out something? Okay, so I have an extra $5, and I'm just going to stuff that. Let's do 10 here. Yeah, we're going to do 10 in medication. So that's going to leave us with $265, and that $265 from this $265 leaves zero. All right, so the next thing that I will do is move over to my cash stuffing tracker. I'm going to get these categories filled in and I will be right back. All 
All right, so we have everything filled in and the payday is 224.23. All right, so we are now we are going to break down our um, bill denomination here. So what we do, we have every category of the bill, every category, every denomination that the bills come in um so what i am going to do is break my amount down by the bills that i want and this is what i take to the bank so um for credit cards i'm just going to do a 10. for my tides i'm gonna do 50 and a 10. for my car note i'm just gonna do a 50. for my insurance is 10. Cell phone, 10. Utilities, 20. For my rent, I'm going to do 7 100s and four twenties. For my groceries, I'm going to do 100, 10, and a 5. For my gas, I am going to do 320s. 110, 1, 5, and 5, 1s. For household, hmm, let's do 20 here. For spending, I'm going to do the normal 10. For beauty, I'm going to do 10, 20 and a 10. And then for eating out, isn't getting anything in their medications, I'm going to get 10. Now let's do medications two fives. So now I will tally all of these up and then put the amounts down here at the bottom where you say see bill quantity and bill total. So my total is one thousand two hundred and five dollars. So for my one hundreds, I'm going to do eight. For 50s, I have two. For 20s, I have 10. For 10s, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. For my 5s, I have 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I have five ones. So we are going to add this up. Eight times 100 is 800. Two times 50 is 100. Um, 10 times 20 is 200 I have 8 times 10 that's 80 5 times 4 is 20 1 times 5 is 5 So I'm going to go back and make sure I tally that up correctly. So I'm going to do 800 plus 200 plus 100 plus 80, 20, and 5. And that leaves me with $1,205. So I will take these numbers here, add them to my... I don't have an empty cash breakdown. My cash breakdown here, this is not the one that I'll be using, but this is the old one that I keep on my desk. I have several different colors. Those can be found on my Etsy store. But I will fill that out and take that to the bank. And that is what they give me. And that is what I use for my cash stuffing video. So in the next video, you will see the actual cash stuffing of this paycheck that we did today. I really appreciate you guys for stopping by. 
I did not mention in the beginning of the video that we are still sending our babies over at St. Jude a free virtual card um, for the babies that are having surgery. I really appreciate each and every one of you that did the Valentine's Day card, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, I am not paid for this. I don't know how many people actually sent it, but I do know that you guys did drop down in the comments and let me know that you did send one of those babies a cards for Valentine's Day, and I really appreciate that. But I did just want to go in there and throw that in there. I don't get paid um, for this, but I do donate to them every month. Um, I do the monthly donation to them. So I just wanted to add you guys in because it's something is free and anything free. We love free and it's for the baby. So why not go ahead and, you know, send them support, some support while they're going through um, a surgery. So I do really appreciate each and every one of y'all that went over and did that. So a new link will be in the description box for um it's just a general card i did look to see if they was doing anything geared towards easter but it might be too soon to do easter so it's just a general card that you will send over they are really cute so don't forget to go and send um a card and you can send as many as you would like if you decide you want to get up and send one every day you can do that it's not a limit but um and if you guys have channels y'all please kind of share it i mean we can start a little thing for the baby so saint jude saint jude saint jude is the hospital for um the children to receive cancer treatment and it's all for free to the families um they supply all the treatment from the donations that they receive so <clears throat> That is all for this video. I really appreciate you guys for stopping by and sitting through this video. I really appreciate it. But you guys know, as always, I want you to hustle hard, budget hard, and pray harder. Until next time, Queenies, y'all be blessed. Bye.